What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix any installation issues you might have when downloading or updating Instagram on your iPhone or any other iOS device. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. First, you should make sure that you're using a reliable network connection, as this is essential for downloading any application from the App Store. Test your network connection using another app preferably using a speed testing application. These apps can give you a good estimation on your latency, packet loss, upload and download speed. In case you're using a cellular connection, then change it to Wi-Fi if you can, as some apps or updates only get downloaded when being connected to a Wi-Fi connection. Next, after making sure that you're using a reliable connection, open up your native settings application. Here. Make sure that you're logged in with your Apple ID and then navigate to the general section and then storage. Make sure that you have at least 200 megabytes of storage left as your device is unable to download apps or updates when your storage is full. In case you haven't checked these settings yet, then you should be able to offload unused applications automatically. When this is done, go back to your general settings and select software update. Here, make sure that you're running the latest OS update. Some applications require you to run a newer version of the software. In case the issue persists and you're still unable to properly install Instagram to your iOS device, then make sure that it's plugged into a charger or that you have at least 20% of your battery left and then restart your device. This will make sure that some processes get restarted and could for example end some bandwidth bottlenecking downloads or failing installations. As a last resort, open up your settings application again and under General, navigate to Reset. Here, tap on Reset Network Settings. This will change your network settings back to default and could enable a normal connection again. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.